Right, just been on the web and just printed off a couple of sheets here um, for calculations for either J-Pole or Slim Jim. This is off the blog by John, which is uh, M0UKD. I'll put a link in the description there. And it's uh, quite a well-known uh, site for this calculation. So I've got two here. One for 70 sems, one for two meters. I think I'll probably, just thinking about it, I think I'll probably just make the uh, the J-pole for the two meters. So on the on the website that is done, you just put in your frequency that you want, the velocity factor of what you're using. He's got a default for copper, and of course I've got copper here, so that's fine. Um, just press calculate, and it comes up with all these numbers here for the various lengths for the parts of the J-Pole. So it's all very straightforward and uh, super useful. So I recommend you go and uh, check his website out if you're going to do something similar to this. So now I've had a look at the dimensions and things, I'm going to put my 20 mil um, tubes to one side, not going to use those uh, and these parts. Um, leave that for another day. Um, and I'm just going to use the 15 mil copper for the two meter J pole. There you go. And that'll do. So the reason why I'm just cutting this end off ever so slightly, not really for length, but. Um, this type of uh, cutter with the wheel gives you a slightly um, rounded beveled edge makes it easier to put into a fitting rather than a square square edge that is uh, a couple of hacks or something like that and didn't get any burrs either so right that's come off there that'll go into there there Now it says here the spacing there is not critical. He's got uh, four and a half centimetres, which is about there really. Something like that. So, clean your joints up. Also, you want to watch your grease of your fingers as well. Any soldered joint.
So on the table it also gives you the uh, suggested feed point for 50 ohms. Uh, in this case it's uh, 50 mil or 5 centimetres up, which is there. But I just wanted to mark that there now. So, because obviously somehow or another I need to support this. Now I've got some plastic pipe clips somewhere for this uh, 50 mil pipe. Um, so perhaps uh, one there and one there or something like that onto something which you can then bolt to a, or fix to a mast might be the way to go obviously been used before so keep everything recycle everything so that can go onto there maybe one up here say so that's oh that's going to hold that the treat. So I've got an old offcut of uh, waste pipe. Obviously that's not super critical. Now then, if you're not happy or not very successful in uh, cutting the end of the pipe off square, then um, purposely Cut it at a jaunty angle. It makes it look like it should be like that then, and it's a lot easier to cut at an angle, nice and true, than it is trying to get that square. If that was slightly out of square, it would look terrible. Well, to my eyes anyway. So that's going to go at the top, and that's going to go at the bottom like that. All right. Okay, for hard to get at nuts and washers. Here's my socket in there. I've already put the nut in. Here's the washer. Little bit of grease on the washer, little bit of grease on there. That's now held on there. So I've got me a bit of thread lock on the thread there. Through the hole. Drill the hole in the back. It's a case of pushing that through there and screw an head on. It's on there. Cool. So I've drilled these two holes here, top and bottom because uh, I thought I'd uh, also put a cable tie around the whole lot just uh, as a double bit of security. Now I'm just going to drill a 3mm hole in the bottom just as a minute little drain hole. Okay then, that's about the uh, the ins and outs of the build. Some tube, a few fittings, all made out of offcuts and uh, scrap really. Uh, a bit of plastic, a couple of uh, pipe clips, a couple of cable ties, and that's the physical part, good to go. Just now I need to connect my coax down around about here somewhere and check how it resonates and the SWR. We can just adjust that by uh, the length and where the uh, the coax terminates on the end here, and then it should be good. So um, very simple, nice little weekend afternoon project, and uh, thanks to uh, M Zero UKD for his online calculator. You should check it out. So see you the next video then um, when uh, I'll put it up the mast and uh, see how it tunes and see how it performs and put some uh, CQs out.
and see uh, see what we get. Okay then, give this a go. It's always worth it, isn't it? Mucking about variables. Thanks for watching.